in grade sixes, we're so excited to be able to take you on this virtual tour. Normally, I would walk you through, or actually normally students walk you through, but I also give tours sometimes during the school year to families who are just moving into our area. So I'm going to take you on a walking tour. It won't be as good as what our students do, but it will certainly help you to familiarize yourself with our school building. So here we are in the front foyer. You saw Ms. Christensen and I waving. As you come along here, uh, you'll get a chance to see this is our staff uh, from last year. And uh, there's lots of smiling faces for you to see there. And in addition, each year we do a rooftop photo. So we did A one year, A the next year. I bet you can think what might be coming next. As you enter the building or as you transition between classes, you can always take a look at our TV display. Normally on a school day, this would display our daily announcements um, that you can access online and download to your devices. So you can always check to find out what's taking place every day at lunch or after school. Um, it also is a great place for us to advertise because as you know, we do a lot of unique things throughout the year uh, and we have students advertise there rather than posting paper posters everywhere. That's one of our eco school goals. All right, so follow me. Welcome to the main office. This is a great place for you to come if you need any help at all. Should you be injured during recess, if you need to make a phone call, if you need help or assistance in any way, we are here to help. Here you'll find Ms. Sanders and Ms. Meehan. They work here at the office at these two desks. Also here in the office, you'll find Ms. Christensen's office and my office. We certainly hope that you come to say hello and know that this is a safe place. So as we walk down the hallway, you'll probably notice a few of the locker decals. All of our students have the opportunity to design their very own locker decal. This will be something that you and your locker mate will be able to do. Our first classroom stop is to a science classroom. This classroom is uh, a place where our students can come and they can learn all of the things they need to learn about science. We have a full lab. Behind this room, between it and the other science room, there's all kinds of science manipulatives and materials. So different than maybe what you've experienced in the younger grades, we do get quite involved in experimentation. So there's lots of things to learn about if you like chemistry and solutions, there'll be lots of things that way. Um, so everything awaits you when you come here into the science. Welcome again. So as we continue our tour, I'd like to stop halfway down this hallway and just point out the guidance office. Um, definitely, you can check in with guidance counselors at any time. We have two guidance counselors here, Ms. Gayadeen and Ms. Hines. A little further along, because guidance goes hand in hand with merit room, as mentioned in the video, you'll remember that um, our BTA, as well as our teaching assistant team, work out of this room. This is a great place for you to come if you just need to check in, chill out, or get some help. Let's take a look inside. Lots of comfy places to sit. Some technology that you can use, places to cook, sit, and collaborate. Let's continue on down the office hallway, same hallway. We're going to cross into the stairwell. Now, this is known as the North Stairwell. You'll see often throughout our school, we have green squares or rectangles painted randomly. Boy, Miss Christensen, you're almost blending in. 
Our green squares are because we're really big into technology. Our students shoot a lot of video and movies, and that acts as a green screen. So we know you'll really enjoy those opportunities if you're into photo and video editing. So welcome to our upstairs hallway. It's just like the downstairs hallway, and from our grade sixes, most of your classes will be up here. We're gonna check into a few. Come on this way. The first room you're gonna see upstairs is the art room. This is a very creative space where students come to learn and get busy with the arts. Run right by Miss Lyons, uh, this room is a very special place. There's always lots going on, and Miss Lyons runs a very uh, well-attended art club as well that you can partake in. So I hope you like the arts. So as you come down the upper hallway, we do have uh, washrooms. Upstairs here, we do have a boys' washroom and a girls' washroom. Downstairs later on, I'll point out our gender-neutral washroom that we have as well. Now, look where we are. We're at one of our grade six classrooms. Come on, take a peek. As mentioned earlier, this hallway is where most of our grade sixes have their classrooms. So you'll probably just move between the classrooms that you see here, and your lockers will be close by as well. Don't forget, you share a locker with one person who's in your class, and your teachers will work with you to make sure you find a really good locker buddy. Now, we're at the end of the hallway, we're going to head down this south stairwell. See you downstairs. So here I am at the bottom of our south stairwell, and these doors here are actually the doors where our grade sixes enter. Because don't forget, at the very top of the south stairwell is where most of our grade sixes have their lockers and their classes. So we're going to go out these doors because outside is our rain garden. So working with the Credit Valley Conservation, our school received a variety of grants that allowed us to build this beautiful garden space. This garden collects water that comes off of our roof and it filters it and it helps the environment as well as we've planted lots of native plants and uh, pollinator plants. So it's actually a really great space for our community. And we're very fortunate and thankful. It was built one year ago, so this is its first full year, and we're very excited to see it grow in the years to come. Welcome back. Now here we are downstairs. You just saw the front foyer once again. That helps you get your bearings. So imagine our first two hallways that we've toured are like two long rectangular boxes stacked on top of one another. North stairwell, south stairwell, pretty easy and straightforward. This is where it gets a little bit more confusing, but I'm sure you'll get it figured out soon enough. Again, I want to draw your attention to the boys' washroom, and Miss Christensen's just going to point out the girls' washroom. Great. So we're going to go down this hallway, and we're going to stop at the music room first. Come on this way. Welcome to our music room. Come on inside. So our music program is actually made up of two programs. The instrumental band program and the general music program. We do encourage anyone that wants to, to join our instrumental music program because it teaches you such wonderful skills. As you can see, students get their instruments, they can uh, take them home with them, and they come to this room to practice at lunch hours and before school if they're part of the band. So we really hope and encourage you to consider the instrumental music program. Instrumental music is for everyone. We call this end of the hallway a creative commons. And this room is super creative because it has lots of opportunity for technology and creativity. First room on your left is our technology lab. It's called the learning lab. 
and you'll have opportunities to have some classes in there. Across the hall on the right is a room that still requires a name because it's been recently renovated to be nice and bright. Classes are not scheduled in here so that teachers can use this space as needed. Maybe they're working on a dramatic play. Maybe they're doing a big construction project. There's lots of space to spread out and go on in, have a look around. Welcome to the technology space. What a great, bright space. Lots of opportunities to get creative. We have many cricket machines here in our building. Following along, we've got virtual reality headsets inside this first uh, storage box. We have some of our um, BB-8s and Spiros. And over here, we've got some Lego creations. It's a very, very great space. All of the tables in our lab and often throughout the school are whiteboard topped tables that are great for student collaboration. We also have a full Mac lab of 10 computers for creative um, collaboration. And at the back, you'll notice one of our three 3D printers is actually quite busy work. This is the room that's yet to be named, but we are very happy with the renovations that happened over the course of last year. This space is complete with a stage, a full green screen wall. Sometimes our classes come and play ping pong as part of the physical education program. And this space is just a really nice, big, bright, and beautiful place for our students to enjoy. So halfway down the music hall is the hallway that leads you to the surgery, the cafeteria, and the doors you'll use to get outside for lunch every day. Students line up along this wall to enter our surgery. We're just going to have the filming camera go through the surgery like a student would. Welcome. So that was the surgery. As you come over here, you'll notice we have a water fountain as well as our all gender washroom. In here is the large cafeteria. Across the hall over here is our small cafeteria. This one is the space where most of our grade sixes enjoy their lunch. At the end of lunch, because of course we eat for 20 minutes and then we go outside, these are your exit and entry doors. Come on outside, let's take a look. We have lots of great spaces for students to play, uh, including uh, multiple basketball nets. We're so fortunate because the high school beside us is no longer a high school. So therefore we get to use their field. Now we only use their field during the summer spring and fall months because during the winter it's just too big of a yard for us. So our yard extends all the way behind the school too and there's two ball diamonds on our field. So lots of great spaces for you to play, exciting games like Foursquare on the ground and we know that it's going to be a wonderful place for you. This door over here is another entry door and we call that the keypad door just to the right of the surgery is a side door to the gym. Normally students don't pass through here, but it helps with our video. So we're going to pass through into the gym and the lights are going to magically come on. All students have at least two periods in the gym. Their third period we call gym alternative and it can take place outside or in that room with the ping pong tables depending on the weather. We do things like yoga, ping pong, calisthenics, other things like that in that space when the weather is not great. Otherwise, your gym alternative period takes place outside. If you enter the doors at the end of the gym, you'll be right back in the front of the way. Let's go there now. 
final stop on our tour today is our library learning commons. Come on inside and check it out. The space might look a little different right now because as you know, we are uh, not currently in the building. So Ms. Tricka has worked hard to protect all of our books, but we did want you to see the space because it's beautiful. We have collaborative workstations. We have a, a ton of Chromebooks, a 3D printer that resides in here, lots of different fun seating. There's a collaborative space over here with a whiteboard for students to work on. You can sign out magazines and movies. And then over here, we have our Steam Maker Space. Lots of great activities. That brings us to the end of our virtual tour. We hope you enjoyed it. Please know that you'll have to excuse some of the spaces in our building because of course we haven't been here for uh, the last six weeks, but we do hope that this has given you a glimpse into our building to help you with your transition. We look forward to welcoming you in person and we wish you all the best over the next little while. Be well, stay safe. We know that everyone at the school misses you and please take care.